Starting Monday, Texas will begin distributing COVID-19 vaccines for the fourth week in a row. Health officials believe those vaccines will mean one million doses have been allocated across the state. But Texas leaders had projected having more than a million by the end of the year. KB's Mike Baruk now joins us. And Mike, how does the slowdown in vaccine supply change the vaccination outlook across Texas? Well, Jenny, Jake, health leaders told me this week the lack of supply goes all the way to the top. Because the FDA has only authorized the use of Pfizer and Moderna, there are not enough vaccines to distribute as quickly as we hoped. According to the Department of State Health Services, Texas has received just shy of 700,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines before the year ended. That wasn't quite the plan. As Governor Greg Abbott tweeted before Christmas, Texas would receive more than 1 million doses by the end of 2020. It'll take uh, quite a few months here before the supply and the demand really starts to balance out. Dr. John Zerwas is on the expert vaccine allocation panel, making recommendations on where the vaccines go and who gets them next. It is the light at the end of the tunnel, but it is still a long, dark tunnel. On Friday, DSHS said in a statement, the CDC decides how many vaccines the state will get, how many go to long-term care facilities as part of a federal partnership, then DSHS divides up the rest. We still are going to get our fair share based on population uh, for the vaccine. Right now, there are only two options, Pfizer and Moderna. Zerwas says that contributes to the slow supply. We do expect a couple more vaccines uh, pending FDA approval to come on board in the, in the end of January, February timeframe. The next vaccines to arrive in Texas will come this week, but DSHS has not said how many doses the state will receive or who will get them. Sometimes we don't know until just days before uh, we have to determine where the vaccine is going to go across the state. Get into week four. That means people who were vaccinated during week one will get their second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. But according to Zerwas, those doses will not show up in the data breakdown of vaccines Texas will receive from the federal government. Jake. That's Mike Marut reporting for us with the latest on the vaccine rollout. Thanks, Mike.